welcome to my channel today we are going to sew this simple um a-line dress with um ruffle sleeve mm -hmm. very simple and classy so that's what we are going to so okay and so please if you are watching me and you have not yet subscribed please consider subscribing like and share this video for me and also watch the adverts of my videos okay so i have my lining and i have the fabric under it i'm cutting everything together do you get it okay so one is for front and one is for back mm -hmm. the width of the fabric is um 34 so 34 for front 34 for back so i folded it into two and that is 17. so 34 for back and then 34 for front you can instead of 17 you can make it 19 or 20 but i don't want too much a line in it so the a line depends on how much you want the down to be a shape do you get it okay and so let's place our measurements on it um the back measurement that i'm using is i'm making use of 17 i'm going to add up to it to make it 18 18 and then i'm making use of a neck width of three and a half inches three and a half and then the neck deep for front i'm going to make it three inches and then for back is going to be two inches back is going to be two inches hope you can see okay so let me draw it So I'm going to place my armhole. I'm going to measure 10 inches for the armhole. Okay, then I'll come to the shoulder slope, the shoulder side here, 10 inches. So I'm going to rule the line. Then I'll draw my arm hole. Okay, so I'm going to come here like one inch. And then from here, I'll measure my middle. And that's going to be 4.5. And then I'm going to measure half inch here for the front arm hole. Okay, so this is it. So I'm going to draw my shoulder slope. okay so i'm going to place my measurement on it so i'm using measurement of 46 so 46 is 46 for the bust yes and so 46 divided by 4 is going to be 11.5 11.5 i'm going to add one inch for ease one inch for ease and then one inch for sewing allowance do you get it so that was going to be 13.5 mm -hmm. that's it then from here i'm going to join it straight to the down now i didn't tell you the length of it the length of it is 39 i measured 40 mm -hmm. so 39 for the dress so one inch for sewing allowance okay mm -hmm. so that is the length of the 
the length you are using it for the dress. Okay, I'm going to rule the line from here. I'll place my ruler here this way and rule it down. Do you get it? So, down here. Okay, okay, so this is the A line shape. I hope you can see it well. Yes, I have to raise my camera so that you will see it very well. Mm -hmm. So, this is so at this point, we are going to cut it. Yes, we are going to cut it. Hope you can see yes so this is it so you can see the shape well mm -hmm. so the next thing that i'm going to do is to take this and then cut for front neck do you get it mm -hmm. Then I'll cut for front arm hole. Okay, so here is it for the cutting of the dress. So you are going to cut the sleeve. My fabric was in now, so I have to join some here so that I can get my armhole. So I'm going to measure four inches here. Okay. And I'm going to mark the length of the sleeve is the length of the sleeve is 20. I need like 22, but I have 22 and a half here. Mm -hmm. Now on the sleeve, you can choose to make it long or short and so if you check on the screen you realize that i have two styles there one is the same style but just that one sleeve is short uh -huh. and one is long i'm going for the long one and so if you're going for the long one you measure from your shoulder to your wrist you get it uh -huh. so let's um draw our arm arm hole shape so You get it. Now I'm going to draw my front arm hole too. So I have 14, so I'll make I'll mark seven here. And then get middle. Okay, so this is now wait then I'll come to the wrist side I'm not going to make it very tight yes I'm going to measure usually my wrist is nine but I'm going to instead of measuring exactly nine I am going to measure 12 okay uh -huh. I can even decide to measure the same arm width and then use it so 12 here I don't want it too tight. What I'm going to do is I'm going to measure my armhole. What I have on the dress, I'm going to measure what I have here and then use it. And so from here, okay, so I have 13 here. So it's the same 
then i'm going to measure here from the front arm hole i'm going to measure the same 13 also here okay so 13 is here and i'm going to join from this 13 to my six inches here i have some small space here so i will come in a bit instead of exactly uh, the six inches so that i don't get here okay so let's mark everything will be fine okay i'm going to cut this so i'll first cut the back arm hole okay so this is it now i'm going to create a notch here and i'm going to turn it right side facing right side and i'm going to shape it the front arm hole now with the sleeve i'm not going to add any lining to it what we'll do is before we will shape the front line we are going to first join the sleeve by one inch you know one inch here and then one inch here also join it together and sew on top then we'll continue i'm also going to attach the lining to the dress i'll attach it for, uh, at the neck area from the front side of the fabric yes so i'm going to attach it this way and then sew on top do you get it yes i'll sew on top you can choose to add and uh, stiff here or you can choose to leave it like that so i will add a stiff here okay then after sewing i'll give it a top stitch then after i'll come to the down part here and then so join it to the down part also you get it so on top then give it a top stitch okay i'll do the same for the back also now with the back this is what i'm going to do i'm going to create a slit here so that i can easily wear so i'll create a slit of six inches mm -hmm. six inches will do or you can create a slit of five inches or three inches or four inches it all depends on you so i'm going to reduce it to five inches okay So I also join it, add stiff to the back also, the back neck and here also. You can choose to do it like that without any stiff, okay. Place it on top this way and then sew it, oh, you get it. So I'll create a loop, I'll use some of the fabric to create a loop for it so that I can fix a button here. Then I will join it to the down parts. Then we will continue. Okay, guys. So I'm done adding my lining to it. And this is the sleeve. So let's work on the sleeve. So for the sleeve, I'm going to place it at the shoulder here. And then I'll measure 8 inches. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw it this way to meet this the ends here so it's going to go like this hope you get it and then we'll cut it off so let me use my chop to mark here a bit so 
so from here and then i'm going to have it this way and i'm going to curve it you see curve it this way so i'm going to cut it this way now you can also decide to turn the curve and then go in you see and mark it this way and cut or you can also decide to do it straight hope you get it mm -hmm. so i have the two sleeves together and i'm going to cut it together So let me shape it a bit here. This is it. Okay, so I have it curved this way. Okay, so this is it. Now, we are going to add gathers to it. And this is what I'm going to use for my gathers. Width. The width is 8 inches. And then the length. I have um, 8 inches here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew one end of the fabric this way. And then sew on top. Do you get it? To secure it. And then I'm going to gather all. So I'm going to measure what I have here. And then gather this. So I'm measuring this. Okay, so what I have here is 15.5. And so 15.5 times 2 is going to be 31. Do you get it? So I'm going to gather the 80 inches to get um, 32. Do you get it? 32 because at the end of the day, I'm going to join it together this way. So it will take one inch off. Do you get it? So I'll do my gathers and then we'll continue. So the next thing that I'm going to do, this is the dress. The next thing I'm going to do is... I'm going to join front and back together this way. I'm going to join front and back together this way. See. I'll join the shoulder so on a half inch. Mm, I'll sew on a half inch all through to the next one. Then I will sew the other side also on a half inch after. I will open up this way and I'm going to measure one inch here and then one inch also down and mark it straight from the arm or straight to the one inch down and then do the same thing for the other side also and join it together with the um, with the front one so I'll do that and then we'll continue okay guys so I am done with the goddess Mm -hmm. so this is it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to attach it to the sleeve where we did the curtain see from here i'm going to attach it mm -hmm. so open up this way this is the right side so i'm going to attach it from here this way And I'm going to take it all around. You see. So, then 
you will touch it all around making sure that we get the goddess everything equal so i will sew on it all around you see here also attach everything and sew it all around then after i am going to attach it to my dress from the armhole you see from the armhole so you know when you are attaching i've already attached one of the sleeves you see i've already attached one and this is the result you see so when i wear it properly when i wear it you see it well okay so you attach when you are attaching your sleeve consider the front arm hole and then the front arm hole of the dress also so from front arm hole meeting front arm hole. so don't just attach it anyhow and so i will attach it this way from arm hole to arm hole and then sew it all round okay then i'll knit everything then i'll come and show you the end result okay guys so i am done here is it mm -hmm. so our sleeve see i'll wear this for you to see it well mm? you see the beauty and everything so this is it thanks so much for watching if you have not yet subscribed please consider subscribing like and share this video as well i gave it also a button here thanks so much have a blessed day bye bye <music>